Right, welcome back, folks. If you're a fisho that can't seem to catch the big fish, rest assured, you're in good company because I pretty much do the same. Yep, that's one. Yeah, bit of curry. Oh my god. That's serious whiting for sure. All right, something big's on here. Yeah, well, it is pretty lumpy. I wasn't tempted to go too far. Well, put the anchor down. I am running late, sun's up. I mean, I'm not gonna be staying out here for too long at all. This, uh, it's actually a westy. And it's gonna, it's gonna bounce me around a fair bit. And I'm already starting to feel it the effects. Not much been happening lately, but I just got this little fish. There you go, there. Now, I'm not gonna keep it, but it, it, it's a fish I haven't seen in these waters before. I thought it was a break sea cod, some sort of cod. So, yeah. But it's been very quiet. Very quiet. Let's get rid of this guy. Alright guys, I had to abort that reef. It just wasn't happening. Uh, it's all about comfort at the moment because this Wesley is chopped. The forecast got definitely wrong. So I can salvage the day. Yeah, I'm on a good spot here now. Raw sand. And there's a lot of surface weed as well. So I'm getting false readings from the sound of saying, oh, there's a big school of bait fish. Alright, let's rig up. Right, so I've thrown over the the, uh, the rig. I've got one whiting. I don't know if I should have anchor or not because it's going to be uncomfortable, but it might be worth it in regards to the fish. So just moving a bit too much. I think we're on. Oh, yeah. Bit of weight here. There you go. Right. Not too bad. Of a wine in that one, so that's all right. I think I might actually anchor because it's taken a while to get this down the bottom. I don't want to put a really big sinker because it's haven't got a real big setup here for the whiting. We'll try again, go back, anchor up, get a nice bag of whiting, and I'll be happy. So I decided to anchor up and just uh, oh no, there's my phone, and just uh, sit down. Get a couple of fish and get the hell out of here. I've got a bigger bait on that one there, just in case there's anything hanging around. But uh, yeah, it's about survival today and anchoring in these conditions. Uh, you got to give a lot of line out there so you don't get swamped or in danger. What have we got here? Well, we'll have to spore body. Caught a few before, but didn't have the camera on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, you're beauty. All right. One, big one. Good size, wide in that one. Good size. Fine specimen one. All righty. Fucking grab yeah, that camera. You, you guys, you guys are gonna get seasick. Seasickness. <laughs> Just bouncing, bouncing. Here we go. Hey, this guy, he might have been on there for a while. Could be two. Could be two. No, one. One big plunk. Juicy, fine specimen. It's a good size one. Lovely one. Alrighty. And they're really chewing up the bait. Like that was a fair bit of bait on that one. Yep, that's one. I think. Dropping back down again. See if I can get two. There we go. Yeah, this is one big one. <laughs> yeah, 
bit of curry. Oh no, butterfish, no way. Oh, that is not on. So things are getting pretty hairy out here. Good pain around. I'm gonna do some serious whiting fishing now. Let's do it. Man, oh man. Woo. It's bouncy. Whoa. Just lucky I'm not on any reef. We can have a freak wave getting you. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Bit of girth in this one. Could be a butterfish. Hope not. Oh, that's good. Two stonkers. That's serious whiting fishing. <laughs> As I said, that is a beautiful quite specimen. one. That's a pretty fish of the day, that one. First one was a false one. Second drop. Put your fish on. I right, two. Flathead and another stonk of whiting. Yeah, beauty. Get rid of that flatty. Here we go. Here we go. So the wind's changed now. It's actually hit the side of the boat. It's not good. Good whiting. What do we got here? Yeah, beauty one. Beautiful. It's a darling of our whiting, that one. What I might do is actually fish the front of the boat. I'm just getting smashed too much. It's starting to get windy. It's starting to rain too. There's always that one more cast. Leave the bait here. Then I might keep it more stable here. Got bait on the hooks. Damn it. Here we go. That's whiting. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Woo! Beauty. I just love, just love catching them and love eating them. Yeah, this one's a bit of a bigger best mine. Oh my god. I've got the marine. Safety people, oh wow, 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 that's a beauty. That is a stonker of a whitey. Woo -hoo. The other fish, I don't want to tell you about. I've actually got the uh, water marine people, I bet you they're going to come and do an inspection. Whiting, good size whiting. Yeah, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm out of it. Good topic. There you go. So, okay, quick, quick safety check. Take it easy. I was speaking to a mate of mine, he says, oh yeah, there's a, there's a lot of fish further out there and it's tempting, but oh, just didn't trust 
this northerly end. In fact, it's not even a north, this is a westerly. And that was meant to be tomorrow. Alrighty. A few more fine specimens. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Whoa! There we go. Oh yeah. A bazooka of a wide in that one. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good one. That's your running. You have two good ones. No, just one good size. Oh, oh. <laughs> How's that? Tap on. <laughs> Well, this is not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's a good size. Good size. Oh, buddy. Ooh, that's a whiting. That is a whiting. I thought I was out. That one there just came in. I don't know if you can see in the background. We've been having a bit of rain here in Perth, and now the river's getting all flushed out. And you can see there, there's a big dark patch. And that's slowly, slowly coming towards me. So the tide is going out. Yeah, so look at this. That brown bit. You see the current line right in the middle. I'm just curious to see if that's going to affect the fish. There's actually a lot of surface weed. It's a lot darker. But definitely the current's going out. Very interesting. Right on the edge. So as you can see, the water has definitely changed colour. It's gone very dark. There's a lot of surface weed, but I'm surprised there's a lot of weed right on the bottom and has shut down the fishing altogether. All the weed not on the coast is slowly getting flushed out. But didn't have to get flushed out right here while after fish. All right, something big's on here. It's pretty real still, it's probably a stingy, a stingray. Saw the tension take off. <laughs> Just when I thought I was packing up, it's decent. Not really fighting like a fish. Could be a stingray. Big stingray. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> See leader. Yeah, there's a stingray. There he is. There he is. Not a bad size one too. Always wanted to do a catch a cook on one of these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Done the run. Alright, alright. Gonna snap me line, I think. <laughs> Silly me. There he is. Alright, come on, mate. Get you loose. Now, I don't do the same mistakes as before where I, uh, Flung it off, there's too much tension. Oh, watch it, my whip. Woo! So I got the my bar, my foot on this barb, let me shake this off. <laughs> Sorry about that, here was released safely. 
wouldn't mind keeping one of those one day, but plenty of whiting. What's the point? Whew. Good way to finish the day. Let's go home with a cook up and a couple of bees. Love it. Got to retrieve the egg because I'm going to go forward. It's almost max line I've put out here. business all the way home. Very top. Now a very nice feed of whiting here. I've already scaled them yesterday, left them in the fridge. That's why some of the eyes have gone a bit white, but they are just like nice and cold and fresh food. I'm gonna flip them all and then I'm gonna cook it up really simple way, but just something a bit more different. Just kidding. Right, so that's a beautiful whiting here. So it's good fleeting size whiting, these ones. A lot of flesh on them. It is a cold day, it's wintry, it's been raining. So I just had to play my cards and get out here before the rain starts to come again. So I try and flip them as quickly and efficiently as possible. I like to carve the knife around the ribcage so I don't lose any valuable flesh. You will get a few bones every now and then, but look at that. Beautiful fillet, ribcage. It's actually staying on the fish. See that? And you might get a few bones just along here. You can fill them with your finger. So what I'll do is just trim it like that. Do the same here. And you are going to lose some meat, but you know, when you catch a whole bag like that, it's not going to be too bad, worried at all. But that is a beautiful fish. Alrighty, now that was a job and a half. All those whiting, and look at all that caviar of the ocean. Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, guys, I'll just show you the, this little fancy trick I'm just deciding to do. Just get a whiting fillet, a medium sized one. And for some reason, I just want to curl it around. Do that. The toothpick puncture it through. And have that. So I've already made a couple over here. And I'm just going to lightly dust them with a bit of flour and a bit of seasoning and fry them up. So it's a different way of eating your whiting. Still gonna taste the same. That doesn't turn out that good. I'll be right. She's gonna make a bit of a broth. So I've got some oil and a bit of garlic. I'm just gonna throw in a few of these whiting heads. I've got some fresh herbs, I've got some parsley and a little bit of dill. Go in the hot water. Let that cook up. Let that cook for about 10 20 minutes. Extract all those beautiful whiting flavours. Try and skim off all the scum. Have a quick taste. Oh, that is beautiful. Really taste of whiting. It's not overpowering, it's just really nice and fresh, delicious. That's good, so there's no bones or scales in that mix. Discard that. Keep this aside for our little brodetto or pastina. Basically meaning little soup. Some salt on here. Some black pepper. Oregano. Pine flour. Let's go. Oh, they look lovely. They look lovely.
look at that. I'm gonna grab one as a taste test. We're gonna try this whiting. Later on, we'll do the soup. It's gonna go into it. Go for it. Magnificent. Oh, I'll put it in the whole bowl. I won't. That is delicious. Well, the heavens have opened up. Let's cook inside. Some of this here, the pastina, the risonis. Cook that away for the soup. Got some potato chips cooking up here. This is for whiting. Got the whiting soup right here. Got a little taste test. Mmm, smells quite pungent. The taste is not too bad. Very nice. On a hot dump, on a cold winter night, this is all you need. But all I want one of these nice, juicy whiting swells. really nice. You know what to do if you like the show. Subscribe, like, hit me head here, see you next time, take it easy. Don't want petite. <laughs> Tastes good mum. Oh, I fall down over here. Fish, ducker, fish, ducker, fish, ducker man. Fish, ducker, fish, Tucker, the fish, Tucker Man.